Okay, we're back here. I'm Matthew Mungle, prosthetic makeup artist, and this is the stipple part of the witch makeup. Stippling her neck, her face, to get that old crinkly look. If you missed the other videos, you should go back and see how I applied the appliances to her face and the ball paint. But this is a continuation of stretch and stipple on her skin. So what we're going to do is we're going to use WM Creations Old Age Stipple B for this. I'm going to open this up, Old Age Stipple. It's very full, so you don't want to spill it. And I've shook it up really, really well. Sometimes you can put, stick it in the microwave for about a second or so to blend the gelatin which is in it. Oh, or you can use it straight out of the container. I prefer to use it straight out of the container because I don't want to take the time to stick it in the microwave. So the first thing we're going to do is have Renee tilt her neck back. And I'm going to stipple on her neck to get all the horizontal wrinkles in her neck area. So you've got your hair dryer sitting by, which you can turn on. Let's turn it on warm and high. It's ready. And then we're going to have a powder puff ready with powder. So you can powder the stretch and stipple after you're ready. Tilting her neck back, taking stipple on the sponge, starting around the under the jaw area. Stipple a very light coat. You don't want to do a heavy coat because it'll take a long time for it to dry. And we're going to stipple all over the neck, even onto the appliances which I've glued. Now, some of you may say, well, it's platinum silicone. Aren't you, are you not supposed to use latex on platinum silicone? Well, after it's set up and cured, it's possible to use latex over it because it's already cured and you're not inhibiting the curing time or properties of the platinum material. So we're just stippling this on and just seeing what kind of texture we can get on the skin with this stretch and stipple. I'm going to throw that uh, sponge away and then I'm going to dry this layer. Now I see that I need a little bit of more texture on this neck area. So I'm going to use an orange stipple sponge to stipple the latex on. I'm just going to take this. Now I've got a torn orange stipple sponge. I don't want to cut it because I want that, the, um, the oddity of the texture on it. So I'm going to take this sponge. She's going to tilt her head back a little bit. And I'm going to add some more stipple onto the sponge and just stipple that on the neck because I want to get that crepey old skin look. So this will give me a nice texture, whereas a cut sponge only gives you a very smooth texture. Okay. Okay, we've got that one coat. We're going to take our hair dryer. We're going to take our hair dryer and dry this. Now I'm going to ask Renee, keep your head this way. Take your hands. Bring your hands out here. Tilt your head back. And place one hand here. And I'm going to pull down right there. And pull down right there. And that's going to give me a little bit more pull on the neck. Give me a little bit more stretch, in other words. Take the orange stipple sponge right under the jawline, all the way around. 
And you can see this sponge allows me to put on a little bit more product than the cut foam sponge. And it does take a little longer to dry. And we've got a nice, now we're going to dry that coat. Okay, now that she's resting her head on my hand, I can get a little bit more stretch out of there. I'm going to take a fourth coat. Remember, we put one coat on with the cut foam sponge. Didn't like where that was going because I want a little bit more texture out of this. And went to the orange stipple sponge. I'm going to go right under the chin too, just to give a little bit more coat on that. A little bit more coat down in the uh, chest area. We're going to dry the first coat. Keep on pressing your head down. On your head. Now we're going to put a fifth coat on. Remember we have a young model here and her skin is rather tight. So you may have to, I'm, I may have to put a few more coats on her skin than an older person's skin who is a little looser. Okay, so this is the fifth coat. Chin up there. Yeah. And the more the model or your actor stretches the skin, the more wrinkles you're going to get onto the skin. And if you notice, I'm stippling onto the skin. I'm not rubbing, I'm stippling. And that gives me a nice texture of latex onto the skin. Going to dry this coat. Now that we've dried that coat, I'm going to take a little powder. I want to see what kind of stipple and kind of wrinkle we have on the skin here. Okay. We've got a nice wrinkle starting there. I think we can actually get a little bit more. Let me see this. Okay, I want to get a little bit more uh, wrinkle out of her skin. So what I'm going to do is take a thin down spirit gum. I thinned it down with a little alcohol. Thin down spirit gum. I'm going to take a big brush here. I'm going to take that spirit gum. I'm going to brush it all on this latex. All over the latex and before that spirit gum dries we're going to take some cotton we've got some cotton it comes in rolls and we're going to take and press that cotton into the spirit gum and just remove the large quantity of it and leave the excess on her skin. It's just got a little bit of texture onto the skin now. 
here and there. It's not all over the place. If I wanted to put a little bit more, I'm going to take a little bit more spirit gum. Do that. As it's drying, take here, dry it a little bit. Get a little tacky and take cotton and let it stick to it just like so. This is an old technique of a build up on the skin. Okay, now that we've had that on the skin, I'm going to have her tilt her head back. Now for this coat, I'm going to take just a regular foam sponge that we started out with and take that and just stipple over really heavy over the cotton on the skin. This technique also works for a zombie makeup if you're doing that. Also worked for really crepey skin, textured skin. Now, while I have this on the skin, I'm gonna you know, move my keep your chin up though for me. Got the latex on. Now I'm gonna take a um, tissue. I take this and. This is a two-ply tissue. I'm going to take that tissue, tear the edges. The latex is still drying. So we've got enough time here. I'm going to tear the edges off of the tissue. I'm going to take that tissue and just put it over the whole area just like so and press it into the latex. I'm going to take an orange stipple sponge with the latex on it and stipple that on to the skin. I'm just going to blend the edges into her skin, the edges of the tissues that is, into the skin. And we're going to get a nice little crepey look to the skin now. And we still see the little tendons of the neck here and the little U under the clavicle area. Now I'm going to take hair dryer and dry this layer. Now we're going to put one more coat of stipple with the orange stipple sponge up onto the jawline over the whole tissue area. And this is why I wanted to start with the neck first because Renee here is so young and she has a very young neck. I wanted to see how much I could get out of this stipple and her skin with this stipple and tissue and cotton technique. Because you're using an orange stipple sponge and it's got texture, you can let the latex dry a little bit and then put texture into the skin and the stipple as you're stippling it on. Okay, now we're going to dry that coat. Okay, now that that's dried to the point, I'm going to take powder puff and a lot of powder and stipple this whole area and let's see what kind of wrinkles we get out of this. Make sure to powder it. You don't want it to stick together. Okay, now you can tell. Very nice. Yeah, so. 
Very nice. Now that's what I'm looking for right there. That's nice and stippled. And the latex is still drying, so you don't want to, you can take, tilt your head down a little bit, and take and kind of press it around and get some nice wrinkles in to the skin. Yeah, just keep your head down. Okay, now we're going to move on to the forehead area, see if we can get a little stretch out of that. Um, Renee, I want you to frown for me. There you go. That's going to pull the skin down a little bit. Now, I already see that her skin is very tight here. So I'm going to, ahead of time, prep some tissue that I can do the same technique as I did down here, but without the cotton. Tear the edges to make sure we have a nice blend. We've got that area right there we can use. Okay, so that's our tissue prep for that. Then we're going to take orange tipple sponge that I've torn, just like so, and stipple latex all in this area. So frown for me. And I'm going to pull back up this way because I want horizontal wrinkles. I'm going to take that stipple and stipple onto the ball pate area, a little bit above the brows. Going on to the temple area on the side. You see I put a lot on the skin, but I'm going to move that around very carefully. I'm going to go on the brow a little bit. I know I want to utilize this ball paint to its full capacity by using as much of her, that forehead as I can. So I've got a nice stipple on the skin. I'm going to dry that first coat. Taking that orange stipple sponge, putting another coat, second coat of stipple on the ball pate and the forehead. It's a nice stipple texture there. Now I'm going to let that go for a second and take our pre-cut tissue and put that over that area. Kind of get horizontal wrinkles in the tissue as I'm putting it on. Very carefully, delicately, not to try not to fold your edges over. A little texture there on the side, in the middle. We've done that. Then we're going to stipple that one more time. Now, here's another tip. If you want really, really heavy wrinkles, you can take a bounce um, fabric softener piece that's already been in the dryer with your clothes, and I always save those because it's great for burns and things like that, but once it's already lost its smell and its texture and its ingredients that they put into the cloth, that cloth is very malleable and it's great for stretch and stipple and also doing a burn on the skin. So it's basically bounce fabric softener sheets that have been pre-used in the dryer. And you have automatic pieces that you can use instead of tissue and gives you a little bit thicker 
texture on the skin too. Now, have you noticed I'm getting a nice texture here and they're all horizontal wrinkles because I want horizontal wrinkles on the forehead. I'm going to dry that layer. Okay, now that we've dried that really good, we're going to put one more coat of stipple on it. Let's see what kind of wrinkle we get out of the skin with this. And even though you powder later, you can go back and add another coat if you wanted to. Drying this coat. Now that's um, semi-dry to this point. We're going to take the powder on a powder puff, powder it really good, and see what texture we get out of that. Okay, I want you to raise your eyebrows for me. Really high. There you go. You know, have her raise her eyebrows and kind of help that into place by just pressing the wrinkles like so. We've got a nice wrinkle there. I don't think we're going to get any more than that on that area. Now we'll move down to the eyelids. For the eyelids, I'm going to take and pull the brow up a little bit. And I'm going to have you resist me. Just kind of keep your eyes closed the whole time. Taking a small cut foam sponge dipping into the latex and stippling the whole eye area in this area just really lightly with a stipple sponge trying not to get it onto her eyelashes First coat, dry. Second coat, second coat. That second coat was over the whole eyelash area. Eye, eyebrow, closed eye area. Put another coat here. Still stretching the skin. Dried that coat. Put one more on. Now this coat, I'm going to put at the outside of the eyelid, just to give me a little more droop in that area. And just a little bit more on the inside of the eye also. That's dry. I want to powder it and see what that has done with those coats. Okay, Renee. Did you open your eyes? Look way up for me. Great. Okay. I see I can get a little bit more wrinkle out of this. So what I'm going to do is take a tissue again. 
take that tissue tear a little kind of V shape Take a new sponge with a little bit, keep your eyes closed, a little bit of latex on it. Take that and put that at the side of the eye, just like so. Another V shape. Raise your eyebrows for me. There you go. Put another V shape on the other side here. And then for this coat, I'm going to use an orange stipple sponge, really small orange stipple sponge, dipped into the latex, pull up on that area, give a little bit of texture to that. Staying away from the eyelashes because I don't want to get it on the eyelashes. Stippling on the whole eyelid area. There we go. I'm going to take this and just dry it really fast and come back. With the orange stipple sponge, kind of give it a little bit more texture. The reason I dried that is because I wanted it a little bit more dry so I could get get some texture out of this latex. Dry that. I give this one more coat. In this coat I'm just going to get on the outside of the eyes. Try to get a little bit more droop out of that. Powder puff, powder. Can do a little paint job over that. Give a little bit more wrinkles. Nice. Now we're going to move under the eyes. To move under the eyes, I'm going to have Renee take her hand and let me place your fingers. Place it on top of the appliance right here and the other finger over here and I think the index finger, uh, the middle finger is probably the best. And just pull down towards your nose. Let's see, let me move your hand finger. Right there. Yeah, you're just going to be pulling down like that. Then you're going to look up for me, up to the ceiling. And very carefully, by getting it on to the eyelids. Or the eyelashes, rather, stippling it onto the skin. Okay, you can close your eyes. Dry this. Another coat. And we're pulling towards the nose because we want those wrinkles to go in that direction and not necessarily straight down and making it horizontal. We want those wrinkles at an angle. All right, close your eyes. Take an orange stipple sponge just to give it a little bit of texture. Look up for me. Now we got a little 
texture in the skin there. Powder puff, powder. And then let go of that. Let's see what kind of wrinkles. Okay, we got some nice wrinkles there under the eyes. Nice. Okay, now we're going to move to the upper lip. I want you to take your fingers and pull left and right here, not down but out, right there. And then take your tongue and put it under your uh, upper lip, like this. Okay, that's stretching all that skin right there. Again, we're going to take an orange tipple sponge, give a little texture to it. Now, if you wanted this um, to stick really well around the lips, you could take a little prosade, which I have right here, and just paint on the lips a little bit. Because we've dried it with alcohol, we don't have any lotion on there. So we're just going to put just a little bit of prosade on there. And you can do this before you stipple. Put a little bit of prosade on there just to make sure that the latex adheres to that area really well. Then we're going to take orange stipple sponge, stipple, a little bit of area up on the upper lip just to give a little bit more wrinkle there. Dry that. One more coat of latex of the old age stipple on the upper lip. I'm going to go on to the nostril area also with the stipple just to seal that nostril and appliance into the skin. We've got that coat on, we're going to dry that. Powder, powder puff. Okay, relax your lips. Let go. A little bit of stretch and stipple over there. Not as much as I really want. So what I'm going to do now is take, and we can add this to the upper lip area too. I'm going to take some Prosade cream, that uh, Bondo basically, and take this, a little bit of this Prosade. Just look straight ahead. Just take and create a nice little lift on the outside of the eye with the prosade. Now you've already got latex on the skin, so you're basically going to encapsulate the bondo in between the two. It's right here. Taking this. Basically, you're doing a build-up makeup on the skin with Bondo. A wrinkle there. I'm going to take, put a few wrinkles here on the lip to give me some texture. And 
And we're doing this now so it will dry. It's going to take a little while for this bondo to dry on the skin. We're just creating little wrinkles on the skin with the bondo. We're going to let that start to dry. So there's just one area right here. The upper lid. Cap that off so it won't dry out. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna have you pull this way again, right there and there. Pull out, and we're gonna stipple down below. Put your tongue between your teeth, yes, just like that. Perfect. Perfect. Remember, I put a little prosade on the bottom lip. That will give me a little bit more adhesion. It'll stick a little better in that area. The latex will. We got one coat there. Another coat of latex. Old age stipple B on that area. <laughs> Good. Thank you. I'm carrying it down onto this appliance on the chin to give me a little bit of texture. And then as it dries, again, just creating texture with the stepple sponge. One more coat of stipple, old age stipple here, and the whole area. Okay, before we let her let that go, I'm going to take the little prose bondo again and just build up wrinkles on the bottom lip also with the prose bondo. Because it is Bondo or Prosade, it will stick to the latex really well in that area. And it'll give us a little bit more texture in that area than we could get out of the latex stretch and stipple. We're just dragging the palette knife up and down here, just give her little wrinkles. on the upper lip. Closing the jar so it doesn't dry out anymore. Dry this a little bit more. Okay, it's still drying, but I'm going to go ahead and powder it a little bit. So Renee can let go. Okay, relax. You. Next and last area, cheeks, right in this area, right here, on both sides. We'll take the latex sponge, put a nice light coat in there. Take your hand here. Place it right there and you're going to pull back, same place on that side, back up that way. Yeah, great. Perfect. Well, that's drying. I see a little edge under the eye that I want to correct. 
a little edge under the eye, which is from here to here. So I'm going to take a little bit of the Bondo. And I'm just going to fill that edge in a little bit while that latex is drying. Cap that off. Another coat of stretch and stipple. Just to fill this area out. Sorry. in this area. With the orange tipple sponge. You could also, let me just show you a little bit technique here. You can also take the latex, put a little Bondo on it, and just stipple that on so you get a little bit of texture in that area. This will give you a little bit more three-dimensional texture with the Bondo, especially after the latex dries a little bit. And if you noticed, I was drying it as I was stippling it because I wanted a little bit of texture on those areas. You have to be very careful with that. You don't want to pull up the layer that you've already stippled onto the skin. So it's just a matter of knowing how the product works to see what you can get out of it. Okay, you can let go. Okay. As you can see, got a little bit of texture on this area and this area right here. So that's it for stretch and stipple. Now the next step is to color the whole thing.